Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, letting go. It says emotional re release, dreaming, some sort of knowledge that's going to make you happy. Under the deck, you might be you might be feeling some fear right now. You may be afraid of something. Yeah, there's something you don't know. There could be a person or something that you don't want to let go of, but you're going to find something out and it's going to make you happy. I feel like some of you may be taking extra naps or you need to take naps. Um, you may not be sleeping well right now. You may get some sort of knowledge or epiphany or something in a dream, but it doesn't have to mean it's going to come that way. What is this air spirit knowledge for Sagittarius? Okay, there's a king of coin that flipped around. Let me do one more, please. Three of coins working together. Okay, one more. Two of coins, making a decision. Page of coin, interesting. Okay, so there could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or, or somebody maybe you work with, or a banker, or somebody like that. There could be someone that you have to work with, um, make some sort of decision, and then there's some sort of communication, the page of coin. So again, it can be um, a person you know, or somebody with money, like a bank or something like that. But it's gonna bring you happiness. The page of coin is, it could be, there goes Coco, I'm sorry. It could be getting a job and being, and being the one chosen. I'm sorry, totally, you, you're just totally changing my energy, Coco, I'm sorry. It's right there, just totally lost train of thought. Okay, let's go to tarot. So letting go dreaming so I feel like right here like not to worry to kind of like just kind of wait and see relax try to be calm you're gonna receive a message some sort of knowledge from a person and it's gonna bring you a lot of happiness Coco stop that she does her nails on my carpet and then it kind of ruins the carpet I have to get her a scratching post or something else at least it's not my furniture right yes you can lay there okay page of swords Oh, fool. Two of Cups. Ace of Coin. He's here too. And the Ace of Wands is under the deck with you. So see this right here? Now, for some of you, this could be someone you've been dating, Seven of Cups. Someone who's been hanging on to you in a sense, thinking about you, or you've been thinking about them. So let me see here. Page of Swords. Yeah, it could be... I. Uh, could be someone that's looking at you, watching you, thinking about you, and then coming towards you. Or there's a conversation you will have, and then you will drive to see this person, or they will drive to see you, or something like that. The two of you will move forward in some way. Okay, so this looks like a love situation probably for most of you. The two of cups obviously can mean partnership. But how they view the situation is like there's a lot of love here, but they feel out in the cold. So what this person wants is some sort of new beginning with you. They want stability. There is going to be some sort of communication with the Ace of Swords. Sometimes I do call this my reconciliation card because it's like putting it all out there, right? But for others of you, I feel like this is a newer person that maybe you're dating. So be on the lookout for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, some of you are going to, look at, some of you are going to be, there's the Ace of Wands, together with this person very soon. So this might be a new relationship for a lot of you. Okay, might be, um, we do have Tauruses here, we also have Cancer, we have you guys as well. What else is this Temperance card? Someone's worrying though about what choice to make. And trying to think this through it might be a Virgo but see this is this is what's gonna happen Sagittarius you're getting a message from this person and it looks like you are the one who's ha who has to I'm sorry I don't know why I can't talk I don't know my cat came over here kind of changed the whole vibe she just left feels like you will have to make a decision okay but it looks like it's a very good decision in some way there's a lot of love here there's the two of cups you got the ace of wands you got the ace of coin with stability let me go to this deck let me go to this deck The anchor. Now that's out of stability, long-term success, some sort of you know financial career with the man. 
there is a message communication coming towards you or them or that's them it's, it might be kind of confusing the, but there will be a key there'll be an answer so okay so i'm getting this person is going to come towards you sagittarius and give you some sort of opportunity so whether it's in love it's in work whatever this is um it's like The message might initially be confusing. That is why I see the Nine of Swords here and the Hermit. But I see you like needing um, maybe to talk something out with this person or... Yeah, but you're headed toward the sun. Look at that. So an opportunity coming towards you, Sagittarius. You may be kind of confused or not sure of the answer right away. But if you think about this, it looks like the answer for most of you is yes. For a lot of you, this is work. For some of you, this... I'm sorry, for a lot of you, this is love. For some of you, this may be work. For some of this might have something to do with a rental property, so I'm picking up for somebody, but um, and that would make sense to maybe a few of you, but let me go to this other deck. I don't feel like if I, I don't know if I should pull love cards. I feel like this is a new relationship for a lot of you. What is going on here for Sagittarius? What is going on here for Sagittarius? Stability. So again, it's about being stable, being in a relationship that feels very stable, um, feeling you know like you have somebody around you who cares about you, who's protective. What else, please? One more. Longing. Someone has been longing for you. There's a lot of chemistry in this connection. Something about waiting, wait. There's been time apart and having fun. Okay, second chance. This might have something to do with the second chance for some of you. fun this could be someone that you have known in the past that maybe you've been dreaming about letting go dreaming about n knowledge and happiness dreaming about communication working together being together this is all about just a message that's coming to you from someone who you're going to be very happy to hear this message so it's going to play out in different ways as far as how you know this person. For some of you, I get this is brand new. I am seeing here, though, there must be some of you that you do know this person. You've been apart. When you guys are together, you have fun. Um, it could, honestly, it could be reconciliation, but I really don't see that strongly. I feel like you may know this person. And when you guys aren't together, you don't, like, you miss this person. They miss you. But when you come together, you guys have a lot of fun. You're very happy when you're together. So... Let me go to this deck. I'll give you a little more insight. It seems a little vague, but um, hang on here. Oh, these cards are facing many different ways. I don't think I want to. Let me see. We'll see. It's too many. This is a whole section in the center. So we'll have to use this deck. What else does Sagittarius need to know about this connection? What else does Sagittarius need to know about this connection? Definitely could be a Virgo for some of you. They may be waiting to come forward to talk to you. They may feel very weighed down. They may be at the end of a cycle of some sort themselves, ready to move forward. They may come in very quickly. They could show up at your work or your school, or you may be surprised to see this person for some of you. And again, Eight of Coins is wherever you go over and over. So I'm getting the Queen of Swords. You might be a little bit um, shocked or surprised by this person, but give them a chance. Hear what they have to say. There's a lot of messages, messages, a lot of communication. There may have been some confusion as well in the past. Maybe something that you didn't know about that you're going to find out. That was the clouds card as well with the key. There's something here that you don't know. You're going to gain some sort of new knowledge. Yep, this person is coming together. Um, they're coming in as a king. Very specific, coming out as a king of coin in every single deck. So very earthy, strong earth energy, very grounded Getting together a lot. Of, see the page of coin, page of wands, a lot of communication, dating, going out. So you might be a little confused or something. There may be something from the past as well. But again, I kind of get that maybe that letting go because I feel like this could work. Look at that three coins working together. So let, maybe letting go of past, something in the past. I kind of get for some of maybe this person disappeared. Maybe they did ghost. Maybe that's the hermit energy. And you wonder what happened to this person. Where do they go? That may be the confusion that's going to get cleared up. 
See, I like it. The I like when it starts. The energy starts rolling in, and it makes more sense to me. And it just it goes very you know quick. So it could be that was the confusion. Like, what did you do? Where did you go? I waited for you. This almost looks like I waited for you. I was. I'm tired of waiting for you. So sword in the rose. So again, that's knowledge. That's this card right here to me. The ace of swords, but with the softer touch. It's it's an explanation. It's knowledge. It's finding something out. Lightning. So this is going to happen suddenly. Um, someone may have had some sort of addiction. Maybe that's what happened. It says codependent obsession. Um, possession controlling has a block or restraint. Now, didn't obsession come? No, longing came out in this one. Longing for chemistry. Longing for you. Can we mean longing for you? Sometimes I kind of see this as kind of like addicted to love, passion, sex, um, but with you. Wanting to be with you. They could have an addiction to fear with love call coming next. It could be that they're afraid to reach out as well, but someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So with that, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys.